Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at Bill Maher's podcast with Marianne Williamson, who is running for president as a Democrat, where he actually calls her out for repeating a big lie about Trump that just won't die. Yeah, I would never call him an enlightened liberal, uh, Donald Trump, but they've also made a little more of that than there is. I think he's a man of a certain era who, uh, yes, definitely has racist inclinations um, and <laughs> certainly has said some things, but like that thing about, if you really look at what he said uh, with the, uh, there are good people on both sides. All right, so what happened here is Marianne Wilson brought up that old lie that Trump claimed that neo-Nazis were very fine people and that there were good people on both sides of a fight between Antifa and neo-Nazis. Anyone who actually watched that press conference could see what Trump meant, but the media purposely only played a very small snippet so that most people who didn't know any better thought he was literally talking about neo-Nazis. As I've talked about in many other videos, it's clear if you watch the entire press conference that Trump was talking about regular people who were just out there to protest the taking down of monuments. Those people were also there because they wanted to protest the taking down of a statue, Robert E. Lee. You had some very bad people in that group, but you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue. So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history, you're changing culture, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. He did, they just, again, like, I'm the least of a fan of Donald Trump as there is in this country. I've said the most ridiculously horrible things about him, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Whoopie fucking do. But don't gaslight me is what I, like, you don't have to gild the lily. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, no, like on that, if you look at that, state, it's unnecessary to make the case on that, like, there are good people on both sides. It's like very soon after he did explicitly condemn the Nazis and the Klan and stuff like that. I mean, I've seen tapes put together where he has explicitly said, I disavow, I disavow, I disavow. So let's just stick to how awful he is. We don't have to, we don't have to add on to it. See, I, I didn't. A lot of people were, were more responsible for not, men are not created equal before Donald Trump came along. You're talking about people who were marching in the streets saying Jews shall but not replace us. But I think he explained us. he didn't no, mean no, no, those no. people. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. People. See, this is where you and I disagree. So when he said- No, it's a horrible thing on. to say. When it's, what? Say when you say he backed it, uh, backed it up, he backed it up when he got back to the office and somebody says, you better back that one up, sir. No, that's simply incorrect. As I pointed out earlier, all of this unraveled during the same press conference. Unfortunately, our media and Jim Acosta in particular purposely misrepresented what he said and just repeated it over and over and over until it became true. Joe Biden told this lie over and over on the campaign trail. It was never fact checked on it. Mary Williamson is just so wrong here. Certainly, he, he, look, as I I always say he's stupid and crazy so it's crazy just to say that and it's stupid the way he did it but uh i think they i think it wasn't by the window about i think it was in the same news conference i think he did say something about that was much more explicit and which made me go okay you know i hate it when that side cherry picks the one thing and especially with him, because it's like what you can do it with, it's like working with a five year old. You can find something that's so easy. You kind of have to like understand okay, again, he's bad enough as he really is. Don't do that to me, because it makes me just go, oh, everything has to be a team game. Can, we, yeah. can you just show me what is at, without putting your spin on it? No, you idiot! But that doesn't matter to Marianne Williamson, who exists in a very insulated bubble where all information she doesn't want to hear is a right-wing conspiracy theory. Right, so the issue here is that Democrats are going to continue to spread this long debunked lie as just another way to reinforce people's beliefs that Donald Trump's a horrible racist monster. And it's all part of what's led to this inquisition against the sitting president's number one political opponent in the upcoming election. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you found it informative, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think about this insane interview.